Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Memo Joy, but I'm not cooking today. I'm going to uh, make a bow. I've got a niece and a granddaughter that's wanting to learn how to make a bow. So I told them that I would do a video so they could see how to make one. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. So the ribbon I'm going to be using <clears throat> Is number, nine, is number nine, that's the width of this, this ribbon. It's just no particular color. I'm doing it just to for a demonstration. So I will get started on that. And what you need is about um, three yards of ribbon. Um, uh, this one comes in, um, it's, it is a wired ribbon, which also makes the ribbon uh, loops stay in place better. You can place them like you want them. And this is three yards. So uh, the other thing that you'll need is a pipe stem, which I'm using black, but normally I would use the color of the bow or uh, the color of the ribbon or a color that is in the ribbon if it's a multiple color and a pair of scissors, and that's all you're going to need. So first of all, I'm gonna cut off the plastic that's around the ribbon and open the ribbon up. When I start off with the ribbon, I like to trim the edge first. You can do it different ways, You, can, but what I like to do, and I just lost my pipe stem, is uh, cut it like this so it has a little um, V-shaped loop on it. Then I start with this end and I leave the loop up like this and then I'm going to make or I leave the tail let's call this the tail up and I'm going to make a loop the same size as the tail. Okay, I've made my loop, and what I'm gonna do is I put it between these two fingers, and then I'm going to twist the ribbon and put the twist right there and hold on to it with my finger. Then I'm gonna come up and make another loop the same size up here and put it between these two fingers and twist down below the finger and put it in the same spot that the other loop was in. Then we will make another loop. And do exactly the same thing. I put it between these first two fingers and I twist above them and get it twisted halfway around, and then I'm gonna lay it on top of the other loops. Twists. And then do another one. And twist down below. So now I have four loops. And one more. And put it between the fingers and give it a twist in half and put it on top of the other twists. Put your finger there and hold it very tightly so your loops don't slip. Put it between your fingers and twist. And another loop. And another twist. And I've got all of these twists on top of each other. Another one. Make a twist and put it on top of those. And one, two, three, four. I like to try to make five loops if I can. 
and that makes a really nice uh, full bow. So I've got my ribbon between my fingers. And give it another twist and put it on top of those. And one more twist, one more loop and a twist. And I have some ribbon left. And this is what we do with the ribbon. Get that tape off. Whoops. Now, I'm going to pull the loop up and put it where the twists are and put my finger on top of that. This ribbon is kind of slick, but I've got my uh, twist there. Now you'll be able to see because this uh, pipe stem is a different color, so you'll be able to see, but if you were doing this, you wouldn't want it a different color. So what I'm gonna do is lay the pipe stem over the top of where these loops are together. Put my thumb there, bring it through these two fingers, then put this loop through, put this pipe stem through the loop and pull it up, pull these two pieces together and put your finger in there where the loops are where the twists are, excuse me, I'm saying different things, but where the, where the twists are, you put your finger and you twist this pipe stem until it's very tight. Okay, so then you pull the bow towards you and pull the ends, the big loop that you made, and you're gonna cut this. You also can cut your ribbon at the end like this if you want to, whichever way you want to cut it. Then hold your pipe stem up close to the bow and start moving your loops back and forth until you've got them uh, spread apart. It doesn't really matter, just get them uh, spread apart. And this is what gives you a really pretty, pretty bow. And like I said, since um, the ribbon is uh, wired, it makes the, a nicer bow and you can adjust each loop as you want them. And there is a bow. And I hope you'll all try this. And uh, this is for Jane and Haley, my niece and my grand granddaughter, they're needing some bows. And if you have any trouble, let me know and I'll try to do another one. Okay? See how pretty that turned out? And then the in, uh, on the back, when you're done, you can clip this, uh, the pipe stem off and just uh, fold that down and put some hot glue on that and let that dry and then add, put a little more hot glue on it and you can glue this to whatever you're wanting, wanting to put it on if it's a plaque is what um, Haley's wanting to put it on a plaque and you just glue that and stick it down on the plaque that you're wanting to put it on with the hot glue. Now, if you was wanting to put it on a wreath, you would leave these attached and spread them out and wrap them around um, a wreath or um, a swag or whatever you wanted to attach it to. But there you are, a pretty little bow. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and push the notification bell. See you soon.